All right, hello all dinosaurs. We are now at a basement dino dungeon as you guys can see. Yes, we have purchased a box of dinosaurs, prehistoric animals and sea animals, which is worth $300 USD. And today I'm gonna show you guys my Reborn collection. I'm gonna show you guys where we are going to place all these figures in our shelves, okay? So stay tuned, let's get right into it. Okay guys, just to quickly show you guys, this is the new Aerysinatosaurus, which is super awesome. And we have the new Carnotaurus from Reborn as well. I can't wait to open this to show you guys. And plenty of really cool figures. This is the new Schleich Mosasaurus, so let's get right into it, okay? Okay guys, the very first figure that we are unboxing will be this Mosasaurus from Schleich. Okay, let's open this up together and let's take a look yes this is a brand new 2021 mosasaurus it actually costs quite a lot of money all right so let's take this out so you can see it is pretty beautiful of course the figures from schleich they are not extremely accurate so this is the mosasaurus lizard of the mills river 2021 figure let's just place this over here and let's proceed to our next figure we will take a closer look at every single dinosaur later on okay next up let's take a look at what is this this is actually a rebecchisaurus so let's open this up it's actually part of the diplodocus family so let's take this out. I think this is my one and only Rebecchiosaurus. And it is actually named, I mean, the name actually means the Rebecch lizard. You can see it actually looks like an Amagosaurus. Where is our Amagosaurus? It's right over here. Just take a look at this. I feel, I'm not too sure whether they're closely related, but if you take a look at the spines, the neurospine bones, they look very similar. And this figure, it's a um, figure from Collecte. It is a pretty affordable figure. I've basically purchased like 20 figures. I'll place this right over here. We will take another close look at this. And I'll place the Amagosaurus right over here, okay? So Amagosaurus is actually from Mattel. But today, we will also be opening probably two of these Camp Cretaceous eggs, okay? That'll be really, really cool. So stay tuned. I'm gonna open these two together. We are still in the search for Carnotaurus, Bumpy, and Charlie. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you guys some of these prehistoric animals. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys this. This is actually known as a Megalosaurus. Let's open this up. Pretty excited. This is actually a figure from Apple. Not exactly a very new figure, but I always wanted to have this. Should we put this in our prehistoric shelf? which is right over here. So you can see this section right over here. Let me just zoom in to show you guys. That is our prehistoric section. I think we should be placing all of figures right over there. What you guys think? Let me know down below. But of course, later on at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys where we actually place all these figures. So let's take a look at this beautiful and wonderful figure. This is a Megalosaurus, which is I think it is closely related to the modern day moose and the elks, but this is actually way bigger. So a human, okay, let me just take a human figure just to show you guys a comparison, okay? Just give me one second. So for example, a human being, okay, this is the uh, Megalosaurus. Yes, this is the size. This is probably roughly the gauge of the size comparison. So if you stand, okay, probably slightly even smaller, yep. So this is really, really huge. So this is a very cool figure from Peppo. And you guys know that, you know, for you to actually tell apart from the original or the imitation, you can actually look at the logo. If it's full blue, it is actually original. The fake ones are actually in multiple colors. So I'll place the Megalosaurus right over there, okay? Let's move on. Okay, next up, Let's take a look at an animal, which is this one right here. This is actually known as a tapir, or I can call it taper. It is, you know, there's no exact pronunciation for this. Some people call it tapir, some people call it tapir. Okay, so this is basically 
like a cross between a pig and an elephant. And this is actually endangered. Malayan tapir, you can actually find it in Southeast Asia countries. And to let you guys know, there was actually a tapir found in Singapore. So that is a extremely, extremely rare site. And you know, the scientists, the paleontologists, not paleontologists, the experts actually thought, you know, this tapir could have swam you know, all the way from Malaysia to Singapore because they are good swimmers, okay? So tapir, I've actually seen some of them in zoo. Have you guys seen them before? Do comment down below, okay? I think it's time for us to open up one Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous X. You know, I think some of you guys really wanted me to create, open this up, so let's do it. Okay, so let's open this slime egg up. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because I upload dinosaur animal videos every single week. And if you guys have been following me, this is like, I'm not too sure how many eggs have we opened. Probably like 50 of this, but we have yet to get the Colonel Taurus, we've yet to get, you know, Bumpy, we've yet to get Charlie. So that is extremely, extremely frustrating, but it will change right now because we are going to get the Colonel Taurus. Yes, I am extremely confident. Oh my goodness, we have got the Sinoceratops. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's assemble this very quickly because this is not our prime um, attraction of this video. Our prime attraction is actually these two figures right at the back. So take a look, this is Sinoceratops and of course, you know, this is the, the little fact sheet about this. Okay, time for us to open up one of this. Ari this is actually a new species, which, you know, it's not very well known. This is actually inspired by the Disney dinosaur, um, you know, movie. Have you guys watched that before? I've actually watched it like, you know, a couple of years back, but I don't really have very good um, recall on that um, movie. But let's take a look at how awesome this is, okay? Let's open this up. Wow, just take a look. It definitely reminds me of the V-Rex that um, Rebar has actually um, produced because you actually have to attach the tail on your own, okay? So take a look at this. This is super amazing, guys. Super, super amazing. Let's pop the tail in. It's not easy, okay? So let's take a look. I'm gonna do a like a close-up of this. So wow, just take a look at how awesome and how detailed this is. So this is actually flexible. The tail is actually flexible, but I don't really wish to bend it too much. And you can see it has tiny little arms, just like a Conotaurus. But of course, it is not a um, Conotaurus. I think it is closely related to, um, um, you know, an Abelosaur. And this is actually known as an explosion born reptile. The name means explosion born reptile because it was discovered by an explosion. Yep, that's right. Take a look at the dead. So I'm gonna show you guys the V-Rex that the OB or has actually created. So this is the V-Rex, you know, from King Kong. Yep, that's right. So it has a similar structure when it comes to the tail. You can just pop it right in. What a beautiful figure. I basically, basically love the figures from um, Rebar. Okay, time for us to take a look at another, um, you know, probably like, let me, let me show you guys, okay. Let's take a look at this. I've actually opened this, you know, way before. So what do we have over here? We have a bow head wheel. So this is a very nice figure from Safari LTD. I actually purchased this for my second channel. Okay, have you guys seen Dan Safari? You know, do subscribe to that channel as well because I upload, you know, videos of sea animals and animals right over there. And do you guys know that bow head wheels they have, they can actually live up to 200 years. Pretty incredible. And they are like, you know, 60 feet long, extremely big. And yes, 100 years to 200 years, these guys can actually live for a long time. Extremely, extremely impressive. Okay, time for us to take a look at more, um, probably another sea animal that I have purchased. This is actually very, very awesome. It reminds me of Kraken. 
you know, the prehistoric, I mean, the mythical, you know, octopus monster. So this definitely reminds me of that. So we have a blue octopus. Let's, let's take a look at this. You know, they don't have much facts about this, but do you guys know that the Indominus Rex actually has the DNA of octopus? Yes, that's right, because octopus, they have the ability to camouflage itself. It can actually change the colors accordingly to the surroundings. Yes, it's very impressive. Our place is right over here. Okay, next up, should we open up another egg or should we take a look at another dinosaur? I think let's go with another dinosaur first. Check this out, guys. This is an incredible figure. I'm just gonna take my pair of scissors and cut this open. This has been around for you know, a couple of months, I guess. Probably a couple of years. I can't really remember, but let's take a look at the date below. So, let's take a look. Wow, just check this out, guys. Okay, so, uh, let's see. This is actually a 2016 feathered Velociraptor, so this definitely, definitely not a couple of months ago, but I've never get my hands on this figure. It's really nice and I really love it. I'm gonna show you guys where we place it. This is going to be at the level 3 Colossus shelf, okay? For all, the, for all you guys who are new here, basically we have different names for different shelves at different stories of my house, okay? So take a look at this feathered Velociraptor, which is known as the Swift Caesar. You can see, wow, very awesome figure. It's very nice paint detailing, everything is pretty impressive. This figure is just amazing figure. And I'm just really happy to have it in my collection. Next up, let's take a look at some more sea creatures, shall we? Okay, this is a giant squid that we have purchased, so, this could be like a prehistoric, you know, giant squid. I thought, you know, it looks really, really beautiful. There's like, you know, tentacles which are very similar to an octopus. I'll place it right over here. Okay, let's take a look at an animal right here. So this, it's the Iberian lynx. Yes, I think this is my one and only Iberian lynx figure. Oh, it's right over here. So let's take a look. Okay. So it should be written right below. So this is the Iberian lynx. I think I have some facts about this. Um, it's actually um, not, not endangered. Um, this can be discovered in the Iberian Peninsula of Southwestern Europe. I've actually done my homework. So these cats are not, you know, threatened or endangered yet, but very soon if we keep, you know, urbanizing their, you know, habitats, they could be in trouble as well. All right, okay, I think it's time for us to open up another Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous egg. Hopefully, we can get the Conotaurus, okay? Okay, wish me good luck, guys. Okay, you guys know that I've been opening like at least 50 of these eggs, but we have still yet to get, you can see all this slime is extremely gooey, extremely um, messy. So let's cut this open with our scissors. Place our scissors is right over here. So let's cut this open. Let's get it out. Oh my goodness, we've got the exact same figure. Another Sinoceratops. Oh my goodness. Okay, next up, let's take a look at another huge dinosaur. This is a Diplodocus. Not a Diplodocus, I'm just kidding. This is a sauropod. So let's open this up. Okay. Right. Let's take a look at this. Wow. This is pretty amazing. Okay, this is basically an Augustinia. The name doesn't really have that much meaning. It is basically to commemorate its um um discoverer, which is known as Augustine Mentali if I remember correctly. So this is the sauropod. But check this out, guys. You can see like huge spikes or probably like neurospine bones protruding from both sides of its body. It's pretty incredible. You can see thorns and bumps across the entire body. So it's actually very well protected as a sauropod. And it comes with a little human figure. This is basically to show to you the size comparison and how amazing is this. 
This is pretty, pretty massive. And I think this is closely related to um, the Diplodocus. I'm not too sure, so let's take a look. I have some facts written. Um, I don't really have much facts about this, but yes. If you guys have some facts about this huge sauropod, do comment down below. Do some research. Comment down below. I think this is a way for you to learn your dinosaurs as well. Next up, let's take a look at more creatures. This is another new figure. So let's take a look. Okay. This is the Neo Venator. Okay. Neo Venator, which means the name actually means New Hunter. Yes, that's right. This is a very, this is a new 2021 figure from Collecte. So let's take a look at this. Okay. Wow. Beautifully painted. Yep. The strike. This is actually discovered in Europe, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, I think so. I'm not too sure. So you guys can let me know. But the name means New Hunter. Very beautifully crafted. This is definitely going into our basement dino dungeon shelf right over there, okay? In our collecte um, section. I'll place this right over here. Hopefully it can stand well. Yes, it is able to stand really well. Okay, let's reach out to grab hold of another figure okay right over here i've actually purchased this which is mountain gorilla mountain gorilla this, i think they are endangered as well i think there are less than probably like a thousand of them left in the world yep that's right they are endangered endangered and this is a very very beautiful figure from uh collecte that's right collecte it reminds me of king kong have you guys watched King Kong vs Godzilla? Which team are you guys on? I, mean, I, I, I actually like King Kong a lot, but you know, King Kong actually lost twice to Godzilla. So I was pretty upset, but you know, Godzilla is still a good guy, which I also really like. So it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Okay, time for us to take a look at, shall we take a look at this? No, I think we should leave this to the end of the video. Okay, next up, Okapi Calf. Okay, I have never seen an Okapi right in my right in front of my eyes before, but this is actually endangered, and this is actually um we can actually find them in Congo. They are protected. They are endangered as well. It looks like a zebra giraffe. It's like a cross between a zebra and a giraffe. Extremely rare. They are like nicknamed like the um unicorns of Congo. Yeah. They, they have given them a nickname of this because they are extremely hard to um, track, extremely hard to find. Okay, next up, let's take a look at another prehistoric animal right over here. And I think this is from Safari LTD. No, this is actually from um, Mojo. And this is my very first um, Tropial Nathers. Tropial Nafters, yes, the strike, and the name actually means Southern Cute Jaw. The name, the Q K E E L, actually refers to this little crest right in front of his snout. This is, it's actually part of the Anhan Guerra family. I'm gonna show you guys my Anhan Guerra figure. Should I take a look at this? It's right over here. So yep. So they have very very similar. Um, um, they're, very, they're actually very closely related. If you take a look at the jaw, they look extremely, extremely identical with teeth showing, you know, very obviously, um, even when the jaw is like closed. Yep, so they're part of the same family. So this is an old figure from Schleich, beautiful figure. And this is Tropionators. So basically the name means Southern Cute Jaw. Okay, next up. Sea animals time, probably. Yeah, we have one lemon shark right here. I have no idea why it's named lemon shark, probably because it loves to eat lemons. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Okay, so basically lemon shark, uh, they're endangered as well, I think. No, 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 not really, not really. But they use electro receptors to help them find um, its prey, yep. And I think they have like one of the largest, you know, bite force. They are pretty, they have pretty massive and painful bites. Okay, so this is a lemon shark. I don't really have, 
I don't really have much information about this, but this is a figure from 2018 Safari LTD. Very beautiful figure. I think this is our first Lemon Shark. I think we have some other figures. So make sure you subscribe to Dan Safari because I'm uploading dinosaur, not dinosaurs. Sometimes I upload dinosaur videos there as well. It's mostly animals and sea animals. Next up, another sea animal. Okay, maybe we should take a look at dinosaurs now. Okay, another new figure, I think. Let's open this up. This is known as the Camu. Um, Camusaurus, yes, this was actually discovered in Mukawa, which is a town in Hokkaido, Japan. Yes, and the name means the Dragon of Mukawa. How awesome, how majestic is this? Any of you guys from Japan, drop some comments down below. I love Japan. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is a 2020 figure, not too long ago. Very beautiful. It is related to Parasaurolophus related to Auroloro Titan. I'm gonna show you guys some figures of that right now. Yup, take a look at this. This is actually a baby Parasaurolophus, and this is an Auroloro Titan, if I'm not wrong. Yes, that's right. So they're all hadrosaur, so they're closely related. You can see the body structure looks very similar. They are herbivores. Okay, you just place this over here, and this over here. You can see our table is filling up. Awesome stuff. Let's move on. What is this? Okay, we have an animal right here. So let's open this up. This is actually an African sea vet. That's right. It's like a, um, it definitely looks like a raccoon. So I think according to my fact sheet right over here, it is not endangered and you can actually find it in Africa if I remember correctly. But do correct me if I'm wrong by dropping comments down below, okay? So this is our very first African civet cat love this figure. I'm just gonna place it right over here. All right, oops, let's place this properly. Next up, oh, okay, another shark. And this is a nurse shark. Let's take a look at this. Wow, you can see it has two fangs right in front. Not too sure whether the right word is to use like fangs. Um, no, the bite force of this is actually very, very um, powerful. And the status of it is actually near threatened. Yes, if we are not careful, this species right here may go extinct. So this is a 2015 Safari LTD figure. Love this. Place this right over here. All right, time for us to take a look at more dinosaurs. I think this is a pretty cool figure, which we don't really have uh, much information about as well. This is actually known as a Megalosaurus. This, the prehistoric animal right there is actually known as Megalos, Megalosaurus. It's different, this is Megalosaurus, different. So this is actually, uh, let me see my fat sheet. It's actually known as the Great Lizard or Great Reptile. We don't really have much information about this um, dinosaur at the moment. This is a 20, 20 figure which is very very new you can see it definitely reminds me of like you know Giganotosaurus, Majungasaurus what about you guys do drop me some comments down below okay place this right over here all right next up all right this it's an extremely 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 endangered species it is close to extinction yes I'm not kidding you there are only 10 left in the world. Yes, that's right. This is actually a vaquita. It's a type of porpoise, which is very, I think it's like a type of dolphin. They're extremely, extremely, you know, close to extinction. Vaquita porpoise, a 2018 Safari LTD figure. Yep. Hopefully, you know, humans can stop hunting them and give them a chance to actually reproduce because less than 10 in the world. Oh my goodness, that is just unbelievable. Okay, I think we have two more figures left. Okay, before we open up the Crimson King. What is this? This is actually a pilot whale, all right? Take a look at this, wow. 
pilots will, I have some facts about this, they are extremely aggress aggressive. They can actually attack humans and they feed on like, you know, cuttlefish, they feed on like um, squid. For this bow head fish, it is actually a filter feeder, uh, filter feeder, filter feeder, which means it takes in all the water and filter out all the food particles. So they are very different kind of um, feeding habits, okay? Yep. Next job. We have two more figures left. In fact, this is a very, very adorable figure. This is actually a Schleck Jack Russell Terrier. Yes, this is a type of dog, and which is one of my most favorite type. They're extremely active, extremely intelligent, extremely adorable. I used to own one, you know, but you know, it grew old and it passed on. But right now, I do have a, I do have a dog. Um, his name is Tutu, so if you guys have followed me, he could have appeared in some of my videos and I, I love him a lot. He's close to 4 years old, yep, that's right. Next up, we have the last figure from this box, it's actually a Siamese cat or Siamese cat. So this is actually one of the oldest breed of cats that is um, available. And the eyes, the eyes are actually crossed. Many of them are actually have crossed eyes. Yeah, yep, that's right. So beautiful cat, love this. So yep, I think it's time for us to open up our last figure of the day before I show you my entire rebar collection, okay? So let's take a look at this. Let's open this up. Let's grab this box out. Okay, this is over here. This is massive, massive unboxing. Wow. Okay, let's take a look at this. I'm gonna show you guys where I'm placing my Reebok collection later on, okay? So stay tuned for that. So this is the Disney dinosaur inspired Carnotaurus. Just gonna pop it right in. Oh my goodness, it is really, really tough. Okay, I'm just going off camera for a while. So there you go. It is right in. Wow. It is amazing. This figure, it's just gorgeous. Of course, this is not the most accurate representation of a Carnotaurus, but it doesn't really matter because, um, yeah, because sometimes looking cool is more important than looking accurate. Yep, that's how I feel as a collector of dinosaur figures. You can see, you know, it doesn't have two fingers. Only the T-Rex has like two fingers. But it has really tiny little arms, even shorter than that of the T-Rex. You, you can't move the legs. But of course, you can bend the tail, which I'm not going to do so. There's articulation on the jaw, extremely, extremely well detailed. You can see the paint scheme. It's beautifully done. This is a kind of colors I really like. You know, it has nice graduation from red to to like grayish, then to like brown. So it looks very, very amazing. I really love this. You can see the horns. They have very nice texture on it as well. You can see like, you know, stripes across the horns. Very wetted look as well. You can see a bit of like, you know, the horns are like growing old and dirty. And even the, the bottom of the feet are very nicely detailed. Yeah, so I'm placing this over here. And Rebar is definitely one of my most favorite brands. I mean, if not for the price, it is definitely my most favorite brand. I'm gonna show you guys all my um, different Rebar that we have. Okay, this is a T-Rex, which is really, really cool. But, you know, my figure, it has a um, standing issue. You can't really stand well. Yep, it keeps falling over. So I'm basically leading this against a, a wall, okay? Next up. Let's take a look at this. Um, this is the Allosaurus from Reboy as well, which is really, really beautiful. I can't remember the name that they have given this, but it is a uh, beautiful figure. I'll place this right over here. Yeah, even this, it can really stand very well. So I have a lot of issues with all these Reboy figures. Okay, this is the King T-Rex. King T-Rex. I've actually placed like a blue tag below this little rock cause it can't really support itself well without the, the that that the piece of blue tag. So this is a beautiful figure. Okay, to be really honest, this figure almost 
killed me once. I'm not kidding you. I am not kidding you. Cause you know when I used to live in my old place, I mean if you guys have followed me really closely, I have one really tall shelf and then I place this right at the top. And when I, when I was opening this, it fell and hit my leg. You know, it was like you know a few inches away from my head, and I could have, you know, I was I was sitting down. I was sitting down, and I opened a door. And it just fell and it hit my leg and I still have a scar on my leg because of this. And if it hit my head, I'm gonna be in serious trouble. Yeah, this is very very heavy. Okay, next up, we have an Acrocanthosaurus right over here, which is really beautiful as well. It comes with an injured or, you know, um, decapitated dinosaur, but I didn't bring it here. Place it over here. So reball figures, they are extremely, extremely high quality, but they are also extremely um, expensive. So I don't get every single one of them. I just have a couple of them, I think less than 10. And this is a Velociraptor, which is known as a spring hued jack. The one of the reasons why I'm not purchasing all of them is because brands like Nanmu Studio, they are coming out with really, really um, cool figures, but at a much lesser price as well. And this is Colonel Taurus, another Colonel Taurus, I think this is also, I'm not too sure, this is Crimson Colonel Taurus, but definitely one of my most favorite Colonel Taurus figures ever, really really beautiful, I'll place this over here. Okay, it can stand well, but not extremely well, and this is like the grab and go, which is like a um, less expensive version of um, Reball figures, it's hollow, okay, it's basically hollow. It's not like solid material, it's much lighter. And similarly, it can stand well, okay? Yep, uh, I have, you see, all of them are pretty, pretty um, unstable when it comes to standing. Okay, I think it's time for me to sh put all these figures into their respective shelves and to show you guys, okay? Okay guys, now we are at level three Colossus. You can see we have placed all our rebar figures back into the shelf. The two new additions right over here. Every Sinatosaurus right over here. You know, Carnotaurus, you can see v you can see the Carnotaurus, Allosaurus, King T-Rex. Everything is just right over here. Of course, we have the Vitae, Giganotosaurus. We don't really have a space for that. We've also placed the Mosasaurus from Schleich into the Schleich um, shelf right over here. And of course, the feathered Velociraptor, okay? So, yep. So basically, these are the new figures and this is the new home. I'm very happy to place them right inside here, okay? So stay tuned for Saturday's video. I'm going to be reviewing all these new figures again, okay? And we'll be doing some new unboxing of the Jurassic World figures. So stay tuned for Saturday's video. I'll see you guys. Goodbye.